In today's video tutorial, I will show you how to crochet beautiful beanie hat with leaf stitch pattern. The base of this hat is front post and back post double crochet stitches. This is crown of the hat. Begin the work. For work you need a ball of yarn, crochet hook. Begin the work by making a chain of 80. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and so on till you will get 80 chains in the foundation chain. You should make the foundation chain loosely. I made 80 chains and join the chain in the round by making a slip stitch into the first chain stitch. Before you will make a slip stitch, please check that it won't be twisted. The ring is ready. Begin the first round. I will begin from brim part for this chain 3 to bring up the yarn and double crochet into the each stitch of the foundation chain. Like this. Keep working in this way till the end of this round. I'm about complete this round. Insert the hook into the third chain stitch in the beginning of this round by making a slip stitch. Round 1 is made. Let's start round 2. For this back post single crochet, then chain 2 to bring up the yarn. Make front post double crochet around the next stitch. Then back post double crochet around the next stitch. Then front post double crochet around the next stitch. Then back post double crochet around the next stitch. Front post double crochet around the next stitch. Back post double crochet around the next stitch. Continue working in this way till the end of this round. Let's complete this round together. Insert the hook into the second chain stitch in the beginning of this round by working a slip stitch. Round 2 is ready. Begin round 3. For this back post single crochet, chain 2 to bring up the yarn, then front post double crochet, back post double crochet, front post double crochet and back post double crochet around the next stitch. Continue working in this way till the end of this round. 
We did first, second and began the third one. In total it should be five of them. You should make two more rounds as we did in the tutorial. We did five rounds of the brim part. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. Let's make the 3D pattern. Back post single crochet. Chain two to bring up the yarn. Make three back post double crochet stitches. One, two, three. Then front pause double crochet around the next stitch. Then four back pause double crochet. One, two, three and four then front pause double crochet around the next stitch chain and front pause double crochet around the same stitch Then four back post double crochet in a round. One, two, three, and four. Then front pause double crochet around the next stitch. Then four back pause double crochet. One, two, three, and four. Then front pause double crochet around the next stitch. Then chain and front pause double crochet around the same stitch. Let's look. So continue working in this way till the end of this round. The report is 10 stitches. Here is it. Let's complete this round together. Insert the hook into the second chain stitch on the beginning of this round by working a slip stitch. Round is made. I made the report that has 10 stitches. Begin the next round. For this back post single crochet chain 2 to bring up the yarn three back post double crochet one two 
three. Then front pause double crochet. Four back pause double crochet one. Two. Three. And four. Then yarn over the hook, make front post double crochet around the next stitch. Then front post double crochet around the same stitch. Yarn over the hook to work with double crochet and make double crochet into the chain space. And double crochet the second time into the same chain space. Then two front pause double crochet around the next stitch. One, two. Then four back post double crochet, one, two, three, and four. Then front post double crochet, four back post double crochet, one, two. three and four then front pause double crochet continue front pause double crochet around the same stitch continue double crochet into the chain space and double crochet the second time into the same chain space and two front post double crochet then four back post double crochet one two and so on continue working in this way till the end of this round I'm about to complete this round. Insert the hook into the second chain stitch in the beginning of this round by working a slip stitch. Round is made. Let's look at work. Let's begin the next round. Make back post single crochet. Chain two to bring up the yarn. Three back post double crochet. One. Two. Three. Front post double crochet. Four back post double crochet stitches. One, two, three, four, Make two front post double crochet around the next stitch. One, two. Then I will be making front post double crochet stitches. One, two, three. 
four. Then two front posts, double crochet stitches around the next stitch, one. Four back post double crochet one, two, three, four, then front post double crochet. And four back post double crochet stitches one, two, three, and four. Let's repeat the pattern two front post double crochet around the next stitch one. Two, then front post double crochet stitches one, two, three, and four, then two front post double crochet one. And two, four back post double crochet one, two, and so on. Keep working in this way till the end of this round. Let's complete this round together. Insert the hook into the Second chain stitch on the beginning of this round by working a slip stitch. Round three is ready. Let's begin round four. Make back post single crochet, chain two to bring up the yarn, three back post double crochet, one. Two, three, then front post double crochet and four back post double crochet. One, two, three, and four. We skip first stitch, second stitch, then make front post double crochet around the third stitch, then make front post double crochet around the next stitch. Then yarn over the hook and work with the stitch that was skipped and make front post double crochet around the first stitch that was skipped. Make front post double crochet around the second stitch that was skipped. Let's look at work. Yarn over the hook, we skip one, two, and front post double crochet around the third stitch. And front post double crochet around the next stitch. Work before the stitches that we made before. 
Yarn over the hook and make front paws double crochet around the first stitch that was skipped. Then front paws double crochet around the next stitch that was skipped. Here what we have now. Four back post one, two, three, and four. Then front post double crochet and four back post double crochet one. Two, three, and four. Let's repeat the pattern. We skip one, two, and front post double crochet around the third stitch. Then front post double crochet around the next stitch. Then front post double crochet around the first stitch that was skipped. Then front post double crochet around the second stitch that was skipped. Yarn over the hook will skip one, two, and front post double crochet around the third stitch. And front post double crochet around the next stitch. Now front post double crochet around the first stitch that was skipped. Continue front post double crochet around the next stitch that was skipped. Here what we have. Continue working in this way till the end of this round. I'm about complete round 4. Insert the hook into the second stitch on the beginning of this round by working a slip stitch. Begin round 5 for this back post single crochet, chain 2 to bring up the yarn and 3 back post double crochet stitches. 1, 2, 3, and front post double crochet, four back post double crochet, one, two, three, and four. Then front post double crochet, let's count one. Two, three, four, five. Six, seven, and eight.
continue four back post double crochet one two three and four then front post double crochet and four back post double crochet stitches one two three four and let's repeat the pattern eight front post double crochet stitches one two three four five six seven and eight then back post double crochet stitches four times continue working in this way till the end of this round I'm about to complete this round this is round five insert the hook into the second chain stitch on the beginning of this round by working a slip stitch let's begin round six of the main pattern for this back post single crochet chain two to bring up the yarn three back post double crochet one two three then front post double crochet four back post double crochet one two three four then I will be making the cable stitch pattern. Yarn over the hook with skip one, two, and front post double crochet around the third stitch. Then front post double crochet around the next stitch. Now work with stitches that was skipped. Make first front post double crochet around the first stitch that was skipped. Make front post double crochet around the second stitch that was skipped. We skip one, two and front post double crochet around the third stitch front post double crochet around the next stitch now work with stitches that was skipped make first front post double crochet around the first stitch that was skipped and make the second front post double crochet around the second stitch that was skipped the cable is ready four back post double crochet one two three and four then front post double crochet continue working in this way till the end of this round let's complete this round together Insert the hook into the second chain stitch at the beginning of the round by working a slip stitch. Round six is made. Here what we have so far. Let's begin round seven. Back post single crochet. Chain two to bring up the yarn. Three back post double crochet one, two, 
3 then front pose double crochet and four back pose double crochet then I will be making front pose double crochet stitches let's count one two three four we did four insert the hook into this chain space make double crochet chain and double crochet into the same small chain space now four front post double crochet stitches one two three and four then four back post double crochet one two three four then front post double crochet then four back post double crochet and so on continue working in this way till the end of this round let's complete this round together this is round seven insert the hook into the second chain stitch in the beginning of this round by working a slip stitch begin round eight make back post single crochet chain two to bring up the yarn three back post double crochet then front post double crochet four back post double crochet one two three four then I will be making front post double crochet stitches one two three four five we did five insert the hook into the chain space by making double crochet chain and double crochet into the same chain space then front post double crochet one two three four and five then four back post double crochet one two three four then front post double crochet and four back post double crochet and so on continue working in this way till the end of this round 
Let's complete round 8. Insert the hook into the second chain stitch at the beginning of this round by working a slip stitch. Round 8 is made. Let's begin round 9. Back post single crochet. Chain 2 to bring up the yarn. 3 back post double crochet. 1. Two, three, then front pause double crochet, four back pause double crochet, one, two, three, and four. Then I will be making front post double crochet stitches. One, two, three, four. Let's repeat again. Five. Six, make double crochet into the chain space, chain and double crochet into the same chain space. Then front post double crochet stitches one, two, three. Four, five, six, then four back post double crochet stitches. One, two, three. And four. Then front post double crochet, four back post double crochet, and so on. Continue working in this way till the end of this round. Let's complete round nine. Work a slip stitch into the second chain stitch on the beginning of this round. Round nine is made. Let's stop and look at work. Here what we have so far. Let's count our cable pattern. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We we'll continue the work. Let's begin the next round. Make back post single crochet, chain 2 to bring up the yarn, 3 back post double crochet stitches, 1, 2, 3, then front post double crochet. Four back post double crochet stitches. One, two, three, and four. Then yarn over the hook and make front post double crochet two together. Make the first one not finish, make the second one not finish around the next stitch and pull through all loops on the hook. Then I will be making front post double crochet stitches 1, 2, 
three, four, five. We'll skip chain stitch. Then I will be making front post double crochet stitches. One. Two, three, four, five. Then front post double crochet two together. Make the first one, make the second one, and pull through all loops on the hook. Four back post double crochet stitches. One, two, three, four, then front post double crochet, and four back post double crochet stitches and so on. Continue working in this way till the end of this round. Let's complete round 10. Insert the hook into the second chain stitch on the beginning of this round by working a slip stitch. Let's begin round 11. Make back post single crochet, chain 2 to bring up the yarn. 3 back post double crochet, front post double crochet, and 4 back post double crochet, 1, 2, 3, Four. Now front post double crochet two together. Make the first one not finish. Make the second one around the next stitch not finish. And pull through all loops on the hook. Then front post double crochet stitches. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then front post double crochet two together. Make the first one not finish. Make the second one not finish. And pull through all loops on the hook. Then four back post double crochet stitches. One. Two. Three. And four, then front post double crochet, and four back post double crochet, and so on. Keep working in this way till the end of this round. Let's complete round 11. Work a slip stitch into the second chain stitch on the beginning of this round. Round 11 is ready. Begin round 12. For this back post single crochet, chain 2 to bring up the yarn, 3 back post double crochet, 1, 2, 3, front post double crochet, and 4 back post double crochet stitches, 1, 
two, three, four, then front pose double crochet two together. Make the first one not finish. Make the second one not finish. And pull through all loops on the hook. I'm going to make front pose double crochet stitches one, two, three, four, five, six, then front pose double crochet two together. First one, the second one, and pull through all loops on the hook. Four back pose double crochet stitches. One, two, three, and four, then front pose double crochet, and so on. Keep working in this way till the end of this round. Let's complete round 12. Work a slip stitch into the second chain stitch at the beginning of this round. Let's begin round 13. For this back pose single crochet. Chain 2 to bring up the yarn. 3 back pose double crochet. 1 2 3 then front pose double crochet and four back pose double crochet stitches 1 2 3 and 4 then front pose double crochet two together. Make the first one not finish. Then second one not finish. And pull through all loops on the hook. Continue front pose double crochet stitches. One. Two. Three. Four. Then front pose double crochet two together. Make the first one, make the second one. Let's repeat. Make the second one, not finish, and pull through all loops on the hook. Four back pose double crochet. One. Two, three, and four. Front pose double crochet, four back post, and so on. Keep working in this way till the end of this round. Let's complete round thirteen. Work a slip stitch into the second chain stitch on the beginning of this round. Round is made. Begin round 14. For this back post single crochet, chain 2 to bring up the yarn, 3 back post double crochet,
then front post double crochet four back post double crochet one two three and four then front post double crochet two together make the first one not finish make the second one not finish and pull through all loops on the hook front post double crochet stitches one let's repeat again one two three then front post double crochet two together make the first one make the second one and pull through all loops on the hook back post double crochet four times one two three and four then front post double crochet and four back post double crochets continue working in this way till the end of this round let's complete this round together work a slip stitch into the second chain stitch on the beginning of this round round is made let's begin round 15 for this back post single crochet chain two to bring up the yarn and three back post double crochet stitches one two three front post double crochet and four back post double crochet stitches one two three and four then front post double crochet two together make the first one not finish make the second one not finish pull through all loops on the hook then front post double crochet two together make the first one not finish make the second one not finish and pull through all loops on the hook four back post double crochet one two three and four then front post double crochet and four back post double crochet stitches keep working in this way till the end of this round I'm about complete round 15 Work a slip stitch into the second chain stitch on the beginning of this round. Round is made. Let's begin round 16. Make back post single crochet, chain two to bring up the yarn, three back post double crochet, one. Two, three, then front post double crochet and four back post double crochet stitches one, two, three, 
and four. Then front post double crochet two together. Make the first one not finish. Make the second one not finish. And pull through all loops on the hook. Four back post double crochet stitches. One. Two. Three. And four. Front post double crochet. And four back post double crochet stitches. One. Two and so on. Keep working in this way till the end of this round. Let's complete this round together. Insert the hook into the second chain stitch on the beginning of this round by working a slip stitch. The leaf is almost ready. Let's begin round 17. Back post single crochet, chain 2 to bring up the yarn, 3 back post double crochet, 1, 2, 3, front post double crochet, Four back post double crochet, one, two, three, and four. Then front post double crochet, then four back post double crochet, one. Two, three, and four. Then front post double crochet, four back post double crochet stitches, and so on. Continue working in this way till the end of this round. Let's complete round seventeen. Insert the hook into the second chain stitch on the beginning of this round by working a slip stitch. Round is ready. Before we continue, we stop here and look at our work. The leaf is ready. Let's measure it. It is 17 centimeters. If you would like to get higher the head, you should make more rounds like 17. In our case, it's enough for us. And we'll continue the work. It will be the first round of the crown. Back post single crochet, chain 2 to bring up the yarn, 1, back post double crochet 2 together, make the first one, make the second one and pull through all loops on the hook, back post double crochet, front post double crochet, back post double crochet and back post double crochet two together first one the second one and pull through all loops on the hook back post double crochet front post double crochet back post double crochet back post double crochet two together first one The second one, 
and pull through all loops on the hook. Then front post double crochet and so on, keep working in this way till the end of this round. I'm about to complete this round. Insert the hook into the second chain stitch on the beginning of this round by working a slip stitch. Begin the second round of the crown. For this back post single crochet, chain 2 to bring up the yarn, back post double crochet, then continue back post double crochet, front post double crochet, back post double crochet, 1, 2, 3, then front post double crochet and 3 back post double crochet 1, 2, 3 front post double crochet and so on continue working in this way till the end of this round let's complete round 2 of the crown Work a slip stitch into the second chain stitch on the beginning of this round. Round is made. Begin round 3 of the crown. Back post single crochet. Chain to bring up the yarn. Back post double crochet two together. Make the first one. Make the second one and pull through all loops on the hook front post double crochet back post double crochet 3 together 1 2 and 3 not finish and pull through all loops on the hook front post double crochet back post double crochet 3 together 1 2 3 and pull through all loops on the hook front post double crochet and so on keep working in this way till the end of this round let's complete round 3 together after we have done front post double crochet, to complete this round, insert the hook into the chain stitch on the beginning of this round by working a slip stitch. Let's look at work. Begin round 4. Back post single crochet. Chain to bring up the yarn front post double crochet back post double crochet not finish then front post double crochet not finish and pull through all loops on the hook back post double crochet not finish front post double crochet not finish pull through all loops on the hook back post double crochet front post double crochet and pull through all loops on the hook keep working in this way till the end of this round i'm about to complete round four insert the hook into the top of front post and back post double crochet two together take the working yarn pull it through begin round five make front post single crochet chain to bring up the yarn Insert the hook around the front post double crochet 
make front post double crochet around this stitch make front post double crochet not finish make the second front post double crochet not finish and pull through all loops on the hook front post double crochet two together make the first one make the second one and pull through all loops on the hook I'm about complete round 5 after we have done front post double crochet 2 together skip chain stitch on the beginning of this round insert the hook into the top front post double crochet 2 together by working a slip stitch round is made i already cut off the yarn now i show you the reverse side of the head this is back side of the head i take the yarn through the needle and now pull this hole with the needle go through the stitch with the needle go through the stitch With the needle go through the stitch. The head is almost ready. Let's look at our crown. The crown is ready. We still need to continue. Now I will be making a reverse single crochet trim. Insert the hook into the any stitch, take the working yarn, pull it through, make a chain and make reverse single crochet into the each chain stitch of the foundation chain. Continue working in this way till the end of this round. Let's complete this round. I make the last reverse single crochet, remove the hook, insert it into the first reverse single crochet. Take the working loop, pull it through. Round is made. The trim is ready. The head is ready. We need to measure it. The height is 20 centimeters. And it is perfect for 52 to 54 centimeters of head circumference. Today we have learned how to crochet beautiful head with leaf stitch pattern. Here how it looks. This is crown. For more video tutorials, please visit our website sharonitin.com. Thanks for watching. We are pleased to inform you that we have opened membership service on our website. Membership includes an access to the video tutorials, which are published every week only at sharonitin.com and only for members. For more detailed information, please visit the membership page at sharonitin.com. Thanks for watching.